Okay, so today I'm going to be doing an RMC rail tutorial, and um, I'm going to show you how to make RMC rails and cross ties for any of your tracks. Now, the first step you're going to want to do is download all the files. I will have a link in the description to the Codemasters video, which is um, the one I'm using for this tutorial. All of his, uh, all of the stuff you need will be in the description of his video for the RMC rails. And this track is my track I made a long time ago that was supposed to have RMC rails, but I never, I didn't know how to do it then, and now I do, so I'm just going to use it for the example. And I'm going to let you follow along with me. Uh, I will have a link in the description for this track so you can download everything. Now for the RMC rails, I recommend you download it and you put it on your desktop. Uh, so then you can just copy it and paste it in each of the no limits coaster uh, folders that you want to use for RMC rails. Oh, it's a zip file, the RMC rails. If you don't know how to uh, open up a zip file, what you do is you put it in a folder, right click it and say extract here and it will give you everything you need. It should be in a nice uh, folder called RMC Rails. Just put that on your desktop like I said and then copy and paste it into the blue angel file if you want to follow along. So I already uh, put it into my coaster file. It's pretty easy. Just find, go in your documents and go to com.nolimitscoaster.com I think it says and you put it in the Blue Angel folder or whatever coaster you're using the RMC Rails for. So now the first step that you want to do is you want to get rid of these rails because we're going to be replacing this track with RMC track. So what you do is you unfreeze your coaster and you want to select everything you want to um, have RMC rails. Uh-oh. Um, and more importantly, what you also might want to do is, you may notice that there's a big launch pad here. I'm not going to make that an invisible segment. I'm going to keep that a uh, normal uh, segment because it has the transport device and I want that to be shown. I don't want that to be invisible. If you have a lift hill though, if you make that invisible, the lift chain will still be there only for transport device it's um it won't be there so i'm going to say an invisible segment so now all the segments will be invisible once the coaster is frozen and now what you want to do is we want to make the rmc rails so what you want to do is you want to go to advanced and you want to go to light pattern creator now what this does is it makes um like a box where your track is so essentially it makes the rails for the RMC track so we're going to go to light pattern creator and there are presets for each of these in your RMC uh, folder so you want to go to um, you want to go to your documents com.lomus coaster 2 and go to blue angel or blue angle I spelled it wrong and you'll see presets and here are all the presets you need so we're going to start with the bottom now one thing you may notice is that these are the textures if you want to go for more of a steel RMC coaster you can use uh, this texture here because that'll make it red, like the steel red. But because we are doing a wood coaster rails for RMC, we're just going to use these textures. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to File Prefix and name it something like Bottom One, and you're going to save it. No, wait, you don't need to save it. You want to go to Generate, and you want to go to your uh, file and select. Now what that did is it made a scenery item for you to place and we are going to place those later. Now what you want to do is you made the first rail. You want to make the rail on the other side of the track too. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to X offset and make it negative uh, 0 0.55 meters. And you're going to say generate. Wait. First what you want to do is make it bottom 2. 
and say generate and select. Now we need to do the next set. It's split up into three pieces. There's the bottom, the middle, and the top, as you may see here. So now we're going to make the middle piece. And there's the textures. If you want to go with the RMC rails, I recommend you do the red texture again for the middle part. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say middle one and generate. And then middle two and then negative and generate. And finally, we want to load the final preset, which is the top. And there you go. Um, right now it's blue. We want to use the red. So yeah, we're going to have to change those. And if you are doing the hybrid rails with both the red, I recommend you just keep those the same. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to call it top one and generate. And then top two. And then make that negative and generate. Now, hopefully, what it did is it made a scenery item for each one. So you should go to choose. And they're all here, as you can see. So bottom one, add object, bottom two. And you will notice that all our rails are here, but they're in no particular order. But that is okay. It is pretty easy to do this. All you have to do is you have to go and um, select modify and click on each segment and put it to the origin. So you just make all of these numbers zero. Double click, all of them zero. So, make all of those zero. I believe that's all. And as you can see, you have RMC rails right on your coaster with the good wood textures right there. So there you go, that's all you have to do. But now what we're going to do is we are going to freeze the coaster and I'm going to explain how to do the cross ties. The cross ties are a little confusing and if you look at the Codemasters tutorial it seems like he doesn't explain it too well and it was really hard for me to figure this out but I did. So essentially it's a script and he has the script files there but you have to put them into your okay, coaster. Okay so now our coaster is frozen and you can see that we have RMC rails. Now another thing you might want to do is you might want to change these supports to like uh, um, to have no handrails kinda like an actual RMC coaster they usually don't have these but I, I'm not gonna do that right now. So what we want to do is we want to first make our uh, coaster that will be the cross tights because it's part of the script. So what you have to do is you have to import your coaster and blue angel blue angel okay so now you can see we have an exa exact coaster of it the exact coaster but what we want to do is we want to go to coaster properties and this is really important it needs to be a Gerslauer bobsled coaster because that is what the script is meant for and you want to go to mode and say center of rails um, if you already have it heartlined, then you have to do center of rails. If it's not, you have to do a custom one, and it's like, I don't know what the number is. So if, I always have my coasters heartlined, so all you have to do is center of rails. So if you're following along, that's all you need to do, just say center of rails. So now you see we have a bobsled coaster. And, uh, what this will do here, uh, let's messed up. Oh. Another important thing is that it does not add RMC tracks to transfer tracks, as you can see here. So what I would do is I'd just make this segment, I wouldn't make it invisible anymore. I'd make it visible and just have it there. It's kind of annoying. So that's like for the Mustang 
poster if you've seen that. I just don't have a transfer table because of that. So now what we need to do is we need to make all of this break because essentially what the script does is, is it turns each of these cars to a cross tie. Usually for a hybrid coaster, they don't have cross ties. What I would do is I'd make each of these supports uh, custom. I mean, a box beam. I think I did six by six for the Mustang and make it gray. So we want to get rid of all these type separators. Okay, that should be fine for now. And we want to go to coaster. Yeah, let me change that. It gets kind of annoying when you're doing this, just because of the way it is. So we want to um, go to, oh man, your bobsled coaster. And this is also important, you want to name it Cross Ties. And uh, you want to set your trains to 32 trains. And I believe the script only lets you go up to seven trains, but that can be easily fixed. I will show you or tell you that. So now we have two trains. I'm going to just make it one train now. I, yeah, I don't want seven trains right now. So we have our first train. What we're going to do is we're going to make that segment. Actually, we're just going to start here. Section type. And change it to break. And you can see, you want to cover it up so the whole train is filled with break. Where was I? Here I was. Like that. So now it's completely filled with the break, and now. We're ready to add our second train on this bit here. So we're going to make that break. And our train just moved. Oh my goodness. Here we go. And you might notice they run into each other a little bit there. That's easily fixable. Just adjust a little bit like that. And make that one... Where's that? Do do do. There we go. Okay, so now we have the second train on. Now there's not a train there. Oh, great. I guess we're not going to have cross ties there for now. Okay, so what you're essentially going to do is you're going to keep making um, break segments until the whole track is filled. And we need to go to our coaster and make another train. Okay. So I think you get the idea fill up the whole thing and also while you're at it go to supports and say clear generated so the supports aren't there okay so we have most of the coaster not really but what you would do is you'd fill all that area around here but I think for now I think you would understand the idea now what we need to do is we need to convert the scripts because what he did is the code master yeah, he he didn't make it really easy just to put in. So what you have to do is you have to do like cross ties in no limit uh, script descript. I don't know what that is. Script description, and uh, you're just going to go to the folder Blue Angel, RMC Rails, changing cross ties for class path and it should be right here um this stuff here like you'll see attach that stuff 
That's for the train he made. I have not figured that out, and I kind of just like having the gravity group timber liners as my trains. But what you want to do is you want to hit uh, cross ties dot NLVM. Now you're going to open that up, and you're going to save it. What happened? Hmm. It's being weird. Not a valid class name. Well, I'm going to figure this out and come back to you because I have not experienced this yet. Okay, I think I figured out what happened. What happened was that I was making a new file and I was trying to put it in my other coaster Mustang. So make sure it's in the Blue Angel and um, call it uh, Cross Ties. Okay, so now you want to go to class path and go to RMC Rails and train to cross ties, and then go to script class and click on cross ties. Now what you're going to do again is you're going to make another new one and make it cross ties two. And you go to RMC Rails, you need cross ties for the path, and then for the script, click on cross ties two. But what you may notice is that it only goes up to cross ties 7. That's why you can only have 7 trains. So what I would do is I would import the coaster and do the same thing but make a second coaster after the trains. If you don't understand, I'll, I could... Okay. Here, I'll show you what you do. Okay, so... Yeah, I'll go over how to extend it even more later. So just save it again, and you want to go to your cross ties coaster, and go to mode, and say scripted, and go to scripts, and you want to add from file, go to park base, you'll see cross ties, add from file, cross ties too. So now you have your two files there and pretty much what you would do is you keep doing it like three four and uh so like for this one that would be the third one so pretty much there will only be cross ties here and here so you want to go to your coaster and say hide wireframe save your game of course and hopefully we will have cross ties And of course it gives us an error. Okay, I forgot something. What you want to now do is go to scenery, go to your RMC rails, and click on cross ties, add that object, where did it go? Okay, add that object and you'll see it's here and put it at the origin. Yeah, put it at the origin. And do cross ties one. Okay. It's kind of weird how it's like cross ties and then cross ties one. Okay. So now. We save it, and whenever I use the RMC rails, it takes a while to save. So, and now hopefully it will have um, the cross ties on it. And yep, we did it. As you can see, we have cross ties on our poster. Now, as you can see, that this is why I kept it right here, so you can have the launch mechanism still there. But now the brake system is there. But yeah, you can see your cross ties right there. Um, and yeah, they're here too. But you'll notice is that 
they stop right there because that's where the train would stop in our coaster. So what you would do is you'd keep adding your trains and it would fill up the coaster. But once you get to seven trains, as you saw with the scripts, you cannot go beyond seven trains. So I'll show you what I would do and I believe this would work. What you want to do is you want to go to coaster, import coaster, and import the blue angel again actually better yet import cross ties again so now you have a double track here it's actually two coasters and hmm it's gonna be a little tricky I know um, what you could do is to actually do something with it, set the to heart line. What is it doing? I, I don't know what I'm doing now. But essentially what you need to know is that you would just add more trains to it by using... Yeah, you just add another coaster, and uh, keep adding the trains with the second coaster. So that's essentially how you would keep doing it to get out of doing more than seven trains. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions, you can either go to the Codemasters tutorial or comment down below and I'll try to hopefully answer your questions so you can do this really cool thing with No Limits too.